Hey friends, how are you? Hope you're well. I'm here today to do my January sort of like stats and wrap up video for you. I decided to start to start doing these because I, you know, I think they're quite good to look at. I know I do like my weekly wrap up, which is fine, but I don't kind of go into any of the numbers, which, um, yeah, I, I've started to sort of do a wee bit. This is not going to be a long video. I think this will probably be all of about three four minutes but it's just fun to do and it's fun for me to kind of look back on and i have it all written down in my in my log as you can see so in january i read 15 books which i was really chuffed with you know i wasn't pushing myself to read a lot i was just reading and i was trying to sort of take it maybe one book at a time occasionally i'd have two in the go but most of the time it was like individual you know just reading one book at a time which was great i really enjoyed that so that came to a total of 4,613 books. S sorry, what am I saying? 4,613 pages. If I read that number of books, that would have been... Phew, never mind. So that gives me an average page length per book of 308 pages, which is not bad. I have to say that is really not bad. So my shortest um, book was uh, Peter Pan, The Play by J.M. Barry, 100 pages. My longest book was The Storm Sister by Lucinda Riley at 683. So, you know, there is the majority of books are in the 200 and, you know, over 260. So that that's fine. So of those books, I had two five star, four, four and a half, six, four star, three, three star. I also had two DNFs that I am I don't count the pages that I read on those, but I've had two DNFs um this month, which is fine. That's the way it goes. And I don't I'm not gonna count my DNFs now in the number of books I've read. You know, they're just they will be noted down. I actually haven't done it, but they'll be noted down as DNFs and that's fine. So breaking that down even further, I had nine physical books, five Kindle books, and one audiobook. Which I think is great. I mean, I think if I can do like an a split like that, even do an audio book every month, I am going to be really happy. Um, I have some audio books that I haven't read yet, so I'm going to be more than happy to to listen to those. Favorite book of the month that was really really hard. I actually had two the the two five stars. One was The Hope and Chocolate by Rachel Bloom, which I absolutely adored. The, that was the latest in the Poppy Poppy Creek series. Um, so really chuffed with that. And the second was The Becoming by Nora Roberts, which was the second in her Dragonheart Legacy uh, trilogy. So as I say, a really good, really good month with not pushing anything. Um, we will see what February brings. I would love to know down in the comments, do you keep stats on your reading? If so, how are you doing it? I would, you know, it'd be, it'd be fun to know. I know that Sarah, the bookish knitter, has like all these spreadsheets, which I'm like, kudos to you, girl. It's like, I couldn't do that. It's not my thing. I'm I'm quite happy with like little stats like that, I have to say. Um, so yeah, I'd love to know if you have a reading log or how you keep your reading stats. How many books did you read this month? It would be good to know. Um, were there any that stood out for you, your favourites? I would love to know that. But until my next sort of like stats video for the month of February, Stay safe. Happy reading, friends. Bye.